Something that people often get confused about with pet rats is the way we use certain types of nomenclature to describe the types of rats. We are very used to using the term breeds for rats because we think about breeds of, say, dogs, where you may have a poodle or a German shepherd or a chihuahua, but we don't use the term breed to describe rats. The majority of rats that we see are classified by their variety, and depending on which organization or which system of classification you use, most of the time they're classified by one of six varieties of rats. All of our domestic fancy pet rats generally originate from ancestor rats, the so-called brown Norway rat. So they're all generally part of a single ancestry. There aren't different breeds or different species of rats. There are different varieties. The, some of the varieties that rats come in do include hairless rats, the ones that have no fur on their bodies. Some of the other varieties, one of them does include the Dumbo rat, like you see here, named so for their large, wide-set ears, the Dumbo variety. There's also a standard variety, the rats that are just a pretty typical looking, regular coat, no additional or unique features. Some rats also come in a Rex variety. These are the type that have curly whiskers, they have a more velvety type coat. Um, they can be classified generally by their variety, but within their varieties, they're also classified by their coat colors. The Association of Fancy Rats, or the American Association of Fancy Rat and Mice, um, does classify amongst these six varieties about 38 different color varieties as well. And these may be everything from a solid coat color to a patchy coat to hooded type varieties to those that have just specific color pattern in specific parts of the body. But 38 different color varieties that exist, six different varieties of rats that they're classified into. Properly, we don't use the term breed to describe them. We use the variety that they exist from. The majority of people that choose to own a rat, this information may not be as significant, but there are also people when it comes to showing rats that get more specific into the different color patterns.